John, obviously you missed out in the final uh, last year through injury. You must be delighted to get back there this year and get a second bite of the cherry as it is. Yeah, I will be. I'll be delighted when he names his side. So, uh, but yeah, hopefully we can. Uh, I'll, I'll be in the 17 and to go back there and uh, you know taste what you know what happened last year will be uh, phenomenal for everyone. You know, not just the players, yeah, but uh, the staff of the club and uh, obviously the fans as well. They get a nice, uh, nice weekend at Wembley again. Obviously, it's been um, it's been news that James Wilcox picked up an injury. You must be able to empathise with him knowing what it's like to sit on the sidelines. So what can you say to him to, to pull him through? Yeah, I was I was lucky enough and you know, I was privileged to play with Jamie in uh, 2007 for Great Britain, and he's a phenom- phenomenal player, great leader, and. Uh, a great bloke as well, so you know I'm disappointed for him that he's, you know, he's missed out on Wembley when Leeds have put such an emphasis on winning the Challenge Cup this year. You know, to not have your arguably your, you know, your, your biggest player and your, your greatest leader not playing is going to be a big blow for them. And uh, I sympathise with Jamie, but you know, unfortunately, you know, he doesn't need me to tell him that spot. You know, that's it. It happens. It happens to me. It's happened to me. It's happened to him. We won't be the last. You know, it'll to someone else as well. It's something as a sportsman you've got to handle and uh, get over. Obviously, it leads on from the uh, Challenge Cups since 1999, so they'll be keen to take that title off us. Um, who do you think are the key playmakers in their side? Um, obviously, Dan McGuire, he's been, he's been very good over, you know, probably over the season, in particular the last sort of four or six weeks. But uh, for me, Danny Badiris is probably the player who's, who's really come to form, and I think um, his, uh, the way he's been playing recently, you know, after getting more time on the pitch, not being interchanged with Diskin as much. Um, the more time he's on the pitch, I think the more dangerous leads are. So, them two players in particular, obviously Kevin Sinfield's, you know, a quality player, and they've got Key Senior out wide, who's big, strong, and powerful. So, you know, them four players are probably highlighted. But we're going to be on our game all over the pitch with really. them. And it's been announced that it's going to be a sellout on Saturday. Can you imagine what the atmosphere is going to be like? No, I can't time? really. You know, after last year, and it was, you know, I think it was 13, 15,000 short of capacity or whatever it was last year. To go back and uh, be. 70 or 80,000 there is going to be unbelievable, so it will certainly make the air stand on the back of the neck.